take three hours of Squawk Box and be ready for your morning. Did you realize that the BLT is at risk? Jane Wells is live in Burbank today, breaking down ingredient by ingredient what is happening with an American icon. And Jane, the idea that this fantastic sandwich could be at risk, that is enough to scare all of us because the one you're showing looks delicious. It's a national tragedy. Uh, I'm at the Coral Cafe where they make a BLT 24-7. There's really only one ingredient in a BLT that matters, and that's the B. That's what we're starting with today. This is at risk of costing more bacon, not just locally, but globally. Why? Roll the tape. There is a deadly pig virus spreading around the globe. It showed up in the U.S. last fall. It's now spread to 16 states. It does not affect humans, but it has pretty much a 100% mortality rate in very young pigs, often due to the diarrhea it causes. At the same time, in Silicon Valley of all places, a tech startup started by entrepreneurs there has released its first commercial treatment called Grazix. It is not an antibiotic. It is based on, it's a plant material based on a plant's immune system. The CEO who used to be Steve Jobs at Next, I started out trying to market this as a water purifier, a natural water purifier, found that it had much bigger potential when he tested it with Chinese pig farms. Listen. And all of a sudden, they call us back and say, hey, you know, it, it works. But it, did you know that it stops diarrhea really well? I said, how do you know that? Well, it worked so well on our pigs, we gave it to our kids. I said, you're kidding. <laughs> what did you think of this coming out of Silicon Valley? When you're in D Indiana and you're thinking, what? I know. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> All right, veteran agrarian Dr. Ching Ching Wu from Purdue has long been searching for better, healthier solutions for the intestinal tracts of pigs, which I guess are a mess. She was skeptical of live leaf, became a believer, and now hopes to broaden the market. I would like to see the application of this across the board to a different animal species that, that needs it, and that will help with their health. All right, there's even now a human form that they're starting to market. Uh, doctors are using this in developing countries to help fight dysentery. It could end up as a, as a supplement here in the States. It's, again, a startup. They're just starting to get distribution partners and get licensing partners. How does Smithfield play into all of this and the potential for that company being sold? Does anybody think oh. that that's going to have a big impact on prices, too? Well, uh, what they're hoping, of course, they would love for Smithfield to start using this. I mean, you're going to see what we have to see. We don't know yet what's going to happen with pork prices. They came down a little bit, and that has been a good thing compared to, like, beef and, and other meats. But we have to see once the, once the Chinese actually own Smithfield. And by the way, in China, they have a whole lot more hogs than we do in the U.S. The U.S. is the number two market. Hmm. China is much larger. And that's why, in essence, they were actually starting to test this product in China. They are now starting to get it distributed here. Uh, a company called Hubbard is actually selling Grazix to hog farmers in the U.S.